Right, this is talking with the Laserdisc database, and you know what? This is probably going to be the last time I ever order from them. Here's the problem. Well, I took the good precautions. I'm usually good with that now. When I first started, I almost got screwed over a couple of times. But you always got to remember, you got to use PayPal, and I did. So, I paid with PayPal. I wasn't just going to pay off some credit card website or be a moron and get scammed with one of those bank transfers or whatever they're called money orders and all that other stuff people pay. I pay with PayPal. The problem is the LaserDisc database is so bad with its communication. They want to act like a marketplace. They say they are in no way responsible for what happens during your transactions. Now I can accept that, but I just don't understand as a company how you can run yourself like that. I mean, you're offering a way for people to um, talk to each other and sell the items but take no responsibility in the selling of the items or where they go or what happens. So what if someone does pay with just a credit card or a money order or something like that? There's little to no chance they'll ever get their money back. That's why you have to use PayPal. PayPal is a key. If you're gonna buy from the Laserdisc database, you gotta make sure the person accepts PayPal. Now, um... Even then, that's no guarantee you'll get your money back. But, um, now they also said be patient. From what I've seen in the comments, they said be very, very patient. You know, you never know. Some people might, um, decide to contact you in a few days. They don't get back to you right away. It's not like an everyday thing. It's not like eBay. It could be a while before you hear from someone. I, I can imagine some people probably receive their items without even getting a tracking number or anything. It just shows up at their door in a few days or a couple of weeks. I hope that doesn't happen to me. The only reason why I say that is suppose I need to sign for it. Like DHL runs with a lot of international stuff. So in the past with DHL, sometimes they would come to your house and if you weren't there, um, they would, um, what's it called? They would come back the next day. Um, let's just say that that's a pain in the ass. Like, it doesn't suck. I mean, a lot of people must have been in a situation where, um, they're, um, ready to get their package and they didn't even read. And know, it's not really common now because most people don't use signatures because they try to get away from that and all that. It's just, um, it's too time consuming for people to knock on the doors and wait to see if anyone's there so they just basically they, just, they they leave most of the stuff at the door but um some of these companies still do that and you have to wait till the next day you know your package is is waiting for but you have to wait another day it's a big pain in the ass well i don't know what's gonna happen it's only it hasn't even been a full 24 hours since i've ordered it so for all i know the guy will decide to contact me in the middle of the night again like when like when i arranged this whole thing but the person did send me an invoice right away i can't imagine they would want to lose the money or get in trouble for it um so i imagine if i talk to paypal and they don't respond to paypal i notice what paypal's very good with that kind of stuff they'll usually just give you your money back if in fact um no one responds so let's say something a lot of people said online some people will buy stuff from people that aren't even alive anymore which is a possibility because it's not a very well put together website that that's why i only only would pay with paypal um if that happens um and you pay with paypal and nobody responds to your um when you report it as in you didn't receive your item, they'll just give you a refund. It'll take a few weeks, but you'll get a refund. So, um, and, you know, these people can't lie to them. They have to offer them, like, a valid tracking number or some way to prove that they sent you your item. They can't just say they sent it to you. Um, the only thing with PayPal you got to worry about, too, is you got to have proof that there was an actual transaction. So you have to take screenshots and stuff of um, what happened. In your case, especially, such as um, if you take a screenshot of um, what you bought, you bought it on lit the Laserdisc database. You take a screenshot of um, your emails between the person and what they sent to you. You gotta at least show something that you actually bought an item from, and that you're not lying. 
Um, PayPal used to be real easy. You just filed a uh, dispute and that was it. But now you have to actually prove that you were in contact with the person. I don't know if that's just with eBay. Um, and it might just be with eBay, but I have no clue. But I, I believe in this case, I wouldn't have to do that. But um, that'll be that. So, you know, you give them about a week. I give... Now, this may sound unrealistic, but I give people a week before I decide to file a dispute. Now, I know that seems a little excessive, but, you know, if someone can't respond to you and ship out your item within a week, unless they say it ahead of time, like on eBay a long time ago I bought, I think I got it from DHL, or was it DHL? I don't even remember. No, I think it was FedEx. I bought um some laser discs from the Deep Space Nine. And what happened was they told it ahead of time in the thing that it was going to take a really long time to um ship it out. It could take a couple of weeks or longer because they sell them out. It's some weird way they sell it. They list it a bunch of times online and you know, whoever bought it. They're trying to trick people into buying. They have three different prices and they try to get you to buy one of the prices that's the highest. Because some people don't check all the pages. That's why when, you, when you're on eBay especially, you should check all the pages to make sure there's not a second or third listing. Or else you end up paying for the higher fee. So, um, so yeah, that that's a little off topic though. All I'm going to say is, is that, you know, the, it's, I, the website's not a scam, but it, it's a really, really slow process to buy things. It's just, I don't know how this website is still around. Um, I did this because I'm trying to get something that I can't get without spending more than double what I'm spending right now. And um, that can be, that's the only reason why I'm doing it. Now, without PayPal, this would be a no-brainer. No, no I would have never tried it. You could, um... Important thing to know when you order from them is you got to look in the, their Laserdisc shop for their terms and conditions so you know what you're paying for and all that. Although these people could lie. They say they could ban you from the website if you refuse to pay. So it's not like it's a huge loss. I mean, what are you going to miss out on? I mean, but um, actually you miss out on a lot if there's some rare stuff. Only Some people only sell stuff on here. You know, there's some Laserdisc plays on this website you can't find anywhere else. Um, these are the, This is more of a community that's with people that are huge collectors. The only thing I don't like is, is that the response time isn't good. I'm talking to someone all the way from, you know, France. <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? And um, it's been almost 24 hours, so it's obviously, it's been work day, it's been everything since I contacted them and no response. So, I don't like when I, this happens, but I don't have a choice but to wait. This is why I probably will never do this again. No way. Um, I don't like DHL in the first place, but you know, this is a choice that you're going to have to make. A lot of people are using DHL or other methods to ship you stuff. It's just too expensive to go through postal services or um, FedEx or UPS if they're in your area and DHL sometimes is cheaper. But then they send, they bring it to you in the in their service area and they have some courier um, get in a van or a car drive it and deliver it to your house. <laughs> So, um, if it goes out for delivery, you really have no clue at all what time it's going to show up, which is good. Nobody should ever know when a package is going to come. But, um, they give you estimates sometimes, but usually it's never true. And it never should be. You know, I always complain about you never know when, when a package is going to show up. It's better that it stays that way. So, you, I can talk about these things because if someone does try to rob me, they'll... They won't be successful because they'll never know when it shows up. All right, well, that's it, and bye bye And besides, you should never tell people exactly when something's going to show up. I never do either. Although sometimes when I talk about movies, but that's different. All right, bye bye